Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ben, and this is the Sony 85mm f1.8. Let's get into it. Anyone who knows me, or if you've seen any of these videos before, you'll probably know that I love shooting at 85mm. So much so that this was the very first lens that I bought for the Sony system, and indeed it was the only E-mount lens that I had for the first two months. A few specs for you, so it's an 85mm focal length on an APS-C camera such as a A6600 you're getting roughly 127mm focal length. It has a maximum wide aperture of f1.8 and a minimum aperture of f22. It has 9 rounded aperture blades and a minimum focus distance of 80cm which is about 2.5 foot. The old quality is pretty sturdy, it's a nice pretty simplistic looking lens. In terms of features you have the manual focus ring which is not as resistant as some of the lenses but it's nice and big you have no mistake where it is. You have a auto to manual focus switch and a custom focus hold button as well. You can custom map this button to I think near enough anything you want but I've just left it as it is. This lens isn't strictly weather sealed, there's no rubber gasket around the lens mount, but as always, Sony will say it's dust and moisture resistant. For the record, I've never had any issues with lenses malfunctioning. It's a very nice lightweight lens, considering the size of it as well. You get a fair size lens hood in the box, which I always use. It only weighs 371 grams, which is no trouble to carry around with you all day. And you have a nice big 67mm filter thread, which seems to be the standard across most of Sony's lenses. This is ideal because you can have one size filter to fit most of your lenses. Focus is very fast, very accurate, works great in low light with the wide f1.8 aperture. It has very nice smooth focusing in video and I've never heard a sound from the focus motor. But as always bear in mind, focus does also rely on your camera body. Image quality. This is a fantastically sharp lens. I have never noticed any chromatic aberration or distortion with this lens. Flaring is noticeable if you're shooting directly into a light source. If you're wide open it'll be a bit of a washout. If it's closed down you do get a nice sun star. Corner to corner sharpness is superb even wide open at f1.8 that only gets better if you stop down a bit and the colour rendition and contrast is superb. So the main pros for me personally I love love the 85mm focal length. I like doing a slightly more documentary kind of style of photography whether it's with my weddings or just for fun and this fits in really nicely for that. It has great sharpness and contrast. Focusing is fantastic with all the IAF and everything. It's a really nice smooth bokeh which is subjective but I really like it and from all accounts it holds its own against the 85mm G Master and bear in mind that this is roughly a third of the price at roughly £550. Cons of this lens? Honestly, none. This is a fantastic little lens whether you're into landscapes or portraits or documentary style stuff even sports. 85mm is a far more versatile focal length than you might think it is. I love using this lens for both photo and video work. The short telephoto focal length matched with the wide aperture of f1.8 really opens up some doors for getting creative with your shots. So I would 100% recommend this lens. If you have the money to splash out on the G Master then go for it. I'm sure you'd probably love it but I bet this could do just as good a job. And that's it for this video. Hope you liked it, hope you got some insight from it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then please do hit subscribe in the bottom corner. Give it a like if you liked it. And if you've got any questions about the lens or if you've already used it and you've got some thoughts to share, please do drop a comment down below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.